Hello friends, welcome to USMLE team. Today's topic is varicella vaccination. Before starting a discussion on this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel All or None Law and please tell your friends through the Facebook, Twitter or email account. Let me start a brief discussion on this. This is according to the CDC that is a Center for Disease Control uh, 2012 that is 2012 uh, guidelines. Okay. All adults without evidence of immunity to varicella should receive two doses of single antigen varicella vaccines or a second dose if they have received only one dose. Special consideration for vaccination should be given to those who have close contacts with persons at high risk for severe diseases. Example HCP, family persons, family contacts with the persons with immunocompromising condition or at high risk for exposure or transmission. Example teacher, child care employees, residents and the staff members of institutional settings including correctional institution, college students, military personnel, adolescents and adults living in a household with the children, non-pregnant women of childbearing age and international travelers. Pregnant women should be assessed for evidence of varicella immunity. Women who have who do not have evidence of immunity should receive the first dose of varicella vaccine upon completion or termination of pregnancy and before discharge from the healthcare facility. The second dose should be administered 4 to 8 weeks after the first dose. The evidence of immunity to varicella in adults includes any of the following documentation of two doses of varicella vaccine at least four weeks apart, US born before 1980s, history of varicella based on a diagnosis or a verification of varicella by a healthcare person provider for a patient reporting a history of or having an atypical case a mild case uh, or a both healthcare provider should seek either an epidemiological link to a typical varicella vac case or to a laboratory confirmed case or evidence of laboratory confirmation if it was confirmed at time of acute disease history of herpes zoster based on diagnosis or verification of herpes zoster by healthcare provider or laboratory evidence of immunity or laboratory confirmation of the disease. Special consideration of vaccination should be given to those who have close contact with the person of high, at high risk for severe diseases or at risk of high risk for exposure or transmission, child care employees, residents, staff members of institutional settings including correctional institutions, college students, military personnel, adolescents, adults living in households with their children non-pregnant women of childbearing age and international travels. This is what I discussed before. Okay, this slide is going to be repeated, right? Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Take care. See you soon in the next video with me on USMLE team.